The Target 12 investigators have new details tonight in the proposed multi-million dollar soccer stadium project in Pawtucket. The so-called Tidewater Landing Development, which includes a plan for a waterfront soccer stadium, has seen its price tag mushroom thanks largely to inflation. This morning, stakeholders in the deal met with state officials seeking more funding to offset the growing costs. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the latest developments. This is a critical moment for the Tidewater Landing Project as costs have skyrocketed. Both the city of Pawtucket and the developer are asking the state for an extra $30 million to get it off the ground. Inflation and supply chain issues have dramatically increased the cost of Tidewater Landing, a development plan that includes a professional soccer stadium, 435 housing units, and a parking garage. Now the city of Pawtucket and the developer are seeking an additional $30 million from the state, potentially bringing the state's share from 27 to $57 million. I'm such an optimist, I haven't even begun to contemplate that. Uh, Brett Johnson of Developer and, and Fortuitous Partners say, says there is currently no alternative plan if the state says no. I would be doing a disservice if I started thinking about a plan B. Uh, we're, we're all in on plan A. Pawtucket Mayor Don Grebian says the city already has about $20 million of skin in the game and is hopeful the state will pitch in more. The dollars are there, so there's no reason they should say no, but if they do, we're going to have to digest that and figure out where we are. On Monday, Grebian and the developer met behind closed doors with the Rhode Island Commerce Corporation, which holds the purse strings on the request. The board is chaired by Governor Dan McKee. We're looking for a solution of some sort, um, and, um, and yet at the same point in time, we have to do right by uh, the people we serve, right? Uh, the taxpayers need to be in the mix. A spokesperson for the governor tells me the board made no decisions today, adding several Commerce Corporation members expressed that if we are to proceed with the project, they are looking for non-state revenues to join in closing the $30 million financial gap. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.